Right, so uh, this is going to be a uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well a Libra Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading April 20th to April 26th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading with me, by checking out the description down below, uh, you're going to see a link to my website from uh, which you can purchase such and as well uh, if you are interested in to start uh, learning to read tarot cards and uh, you like the way I do it I'm offering you six weeks uh, live online tarot classes in which I'm going to explain you the major arcana in a term of career relationship in a positive and in a negative way in, a, in generally how they stand in terms of uh, generic topics of our life in a dedicated spread that I'm using which is major arcana friendly and I'm using it for the classes and as well my private readings as well so it's a it's a bulletproof spread uh, so going uh, through the reading of Libra now the first one which stands for the topic of your week that is to be the ten of swords moving next we have the um, energy that is feeding and supporting the topic uh, that is to be the energy of the nine of uh, ones afterwards that is to be the challenge that you have to overcome here we have a person of the king of pentacles followed by uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy and um, and generally make use of that will be the uh, temperance card afterwards it is the impression of the people around that will be the tower and the final one that we do have it is the guidance that's uh it's uh, simply the star card okay so those uh six cards all right so what we do have here nine of wands ten of swords uh it, it's gonna be intense uh the week itself is going to be quite intense that is because the energies uh, are pointing, how can I describe it, that, um, well, that, that is also in a correlation with the situation as well, with the Ten of Swords. Uh, those two cards are pointing that there are things that you got to make your peace with, okay, and just move on with them uh, for one way or another, either projects at, uh, at career or a situations at work or situations in relationships as well. But the thing is that those energies will make you more adaptive to the new world order, code of conduct, uh, new circumstances, if you will. That is because um, with the Nine of Wands, your personal experience, I mean, the energies are going to bring up at uh, the first stand here on, or on the first row of seats, uh, your experience. And your experience is going to talk to you sound and uh, very firmly that actually right now the things that are happening the way they are happening are happening for the greater good, if you will, because through them you will be able to make the um, necessary arrangements which are to be conscious arrangements which means that this time around you do not rely on circumstances the circumstances all already happened but instead you force new circumstances in your life uh, in order to have your life um, or have the future your future not just only your life but as well your future in a much more growing state however that leads to the to the situation itself situation ten of swords quite intense one so what we said about the um the energies is that you are going to start forcing circumstances however um <clears throat> those uh for forced circumstance not forced but created forcing is not the right word creating circumstances new circumstances for yourself those circumstances cannot be milder okay they have to be rather quite drastic and they have to be so created or so um, established that they allow you to recreate the life you want to live uh, which will as with the ten of swords always comes it's like a, a drawing and line a, a line making a retrospective of the past drawing from your experience which is with the nine of wands understanding what doesn't work why doesn't work what what you can do in order to either make it work or in order either to put it behind your back and move on from there and uh, that uh, the, this whole process will require from you uh quite so they are drastic actions drastic decisions and in generally that is the week where it's the point of no return for you i mean you say it you do it you do it you live with it 
simple uh, as that and uh, uh the the ten of swords like i said is this quite intense card all right it's usually accompanied with as we all know uh, a bit of un uh, unpleasant symptoms in the sense of that you are feel uh, you are feeling the very least oppressed that there is no other way but just letting it go or be making your peace with it and etc etc through the uh those drastic actions or decisions but at the end of the day the ten of swords at least its negative influence goes away very quickly for a day or two and after that uh, you are to be humble and resigned in, in what is in front of you and you are going to pretty much looking forward for it so uh, as we said about the future um, they are standing this person not necessarily a man it could be as well a woman uh, these people quite self-absorbed people uh, well established in the sense of that they have achieved a lot into their life and they want to find someone to share their good fortune with not necessarily love all right it could be material uh, sharing it could be offer for a job uh, it could be a helping hand that comes by it is just you need to know that the king of pentacles are people who give but they do expect as well in return that is and uh, the whole challenge for you libra in term of the king of pentacles it is what you do have to offer or the way i see it with the follow-up it is that have you made the right actions and decisions in the ten of swords which are quite drastic so you end up in a position that you do have to offer something to the king of pentacles in under half i don't mean it as an obligation i mean it that you do physically have a thing that the king of pentacles does feel attracted to and does feel that they want to all right that, that could be as well your life for example you make the necessary arrangements adaptations and you um provoke or rather manifest the circumstances to push your life in a direction that it's no longer deprived because the ten of swords it is like the tower card you know you once you go through it it's you are no longer deprived and uh once you end up in this uh in this state that you are no longer deprived from whatever hopes or from whatever you know whatever expectations you do had there is always something left to look forward to and uh, that will be the uh that will be the challenge to uh, align that thing with this person king of pentacles that you both want the same thing so uh then we do have the guidance uh, not the guidance excuse me the uh gifts and the blessings that taro is offering that will be the temperance uh, the first gift and blessing of the temperance, it is a, an awareness that things have to be done one way or another. Uh, uh, what I mean is that you are to be humble and resigned about, you know, the necessary steps you got to take along the way. So you're not going to feel regret nor pity nor any commiserations whatsoever for the past events and for the people around you and etc etc another thing that the temperance gifts you with it is understanding but that is a mutual understanding and that's why whatever it is left after the times of deprivation of your behalf that the, the king of pentacles definitely can be not convinced but swayed or to to be made to see value in them and that is given by the by the temperance card as a gift and blessing so um it may be challenging, but you can definitely uh, make a unity, union, uh, cooperation, business partnership, relationship with that person, whatever uh, you know your future is all about, because it could refer to uh, literally anything into our uh, into our lives. And the temperance also gifts you with solidarity, compassion, and um, what was the other word? I just forgot about it. Oh my God. Um, so solidarity compassion and oh i said it understanding and uh, that being said uh, it is highly unlikely okay highly unlikely that you are to be given a a rough time from everybody around so the bullies at your job are no longer or throughout at least this week are not going to mess around with you uh, if you are on the edge with your family, your family is going to leave you alone. If you're on the edge with your partner in, in relationship or in uh, in a marriage, they're going to leave you alone as well. Uh, at the very least, they will try to understand where you're coming from. So we do see that your, um, your struggle or rather like the difficult times you're going through are to be recognized that it's really something to be reckoned with 
and people will simply put themselves into your shoes. And that is exactly what we do have into the next one, which is the impression that you are leaving into the people around. And the impression is that you do anything you can and anything that it is given to you by universe or by fate or anything by your power to uh, rebuild back your life and to do it right this time around, right in a sense of that you rebuild it in a such a way that there is a room to grow and there is no limit set for it. Okay, and that rebuilding of life it doesn't mean like it doesn't it doesn't have to mean like uh, s switching jobs or switching relationships. It could um, mean within the framework of the existing things. Okay, so you do your necessary adaptations and some drastic actions in terms of your relationship, current one. Okay, or your current career, and that allows you to rebuild the uh, the career, the job, the relationship itself in a way that you lift the bar of of, of its growth. Because the Tower card, while it does have that unpleasant effect, just like with the Ten of Swords, and that is, by the way, another testament here, the people who are going to truly see your struggle and what you are going through, okay? Um, so they, they always end up with a having nurturing and cleansing effect. It's almost like, it's almost like a offering you a new era into your life, an era that's as apart from the death card, which means almost the same thing here, you do have control over what that era is going to be. Well, for example, with the death card, it is what it is. And the final one, uh, it is the star card, which represents the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you. So um, we saw those really, neg I can't say negative, Taro doesn't have negative and positive cards, it has pleasant and unpleasant cards. So we do have all these unpleasant, unpleasant cards here that are marking your situation and how you know that is going to be a week, intense week where you have to do things uh, you ain't going to like, all right? And uh, under doing things that you ain't going to like, I mean things that you would rather not have to, have to do in order to, uh, you know, improve and, in, and improve your circumstances. But the star card as a guidance, it is the follow up of the tower and the, its most profound meaning is the ending of this era. So this week is going to be the final line, I don't know, the, the finish line of the struggle. And it's uh, with the star at the end, you are going to feel free, liberated, all right? Uh, and with so much hope for the future, because it, it will feel like you have um, took off a, a very heavy burden that was oppressing your chest, that, that, that simply was a uh, hanging as a uh, millstone on your neck and did not and, and stifled you, suffocated you, did not let you to move forward nor backwards and it was like a, uh, a living nightmare. But that will be no longer after this week because the week will offer you, uh, like I said, that liberation with the star card as a uh, guidance here and uh, it will also offer you a, a fulcrum for you to, 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 to look forward to in the future in general but uh, only if you do not avoid your responsibility and that responsibility is to take the necessary approach the, the, the harsh and very drastic actions and drastic decisions that you got to make in order to manifest not exactly to enforce more like a manifest this era that wants to just enter in your life. So, um, that being said, Libra, this was your weekly general tarot reading, uh, April 20th to April 26th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you're interested in a private reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can uh, purchase such. And as well, if you're interested in to start reading tarot cards, you like the way I do it and uh, you want to learn to read the same way, I'm offering a six weeks online tarot classes, uh, which are gonna teach you into the major arcana, how to interpret them in terms of career, in terms of relationship, in a negative and in a positive standing into the dedicated spread I'm using, which I'm using by the way, not just only for the courses, but as well for my private private readings either, uh, which is, which at least in my eyes makes it a solid, solid spread that can answer almost any kind of question. Uh, yeah, so stay safe now and uh, hopefully we're gonna see each other around. Until then, bye.